I got into this because there's always something new. There's always gonna be something I wanna make. There's, I don't wanna ever be put in a box and I think this is the perfect way to not be put in a box. My name is Shari Sims. My pronouns are she and her. I work for the Annex Teen Clinic. My title is a sexuality and program coordinator. So originally uh, with DocU, I came into it with this idea called Girls at Grind. And so the concept was to get women from different backgrounds and women identifying from different backgrounds to talk about like, their pursuit of the American dream. So what does that mean to be a woman of color who works three jobs or to be a Caucasian woman who is a homemaker? And the juxtaposition in that and how like those kind of all conflate with each other, but we're all still working in this system trying to like, achieve greatness. So that was the original idea I pitched to them, but I ended up um, going through the program. My mother was sick, and so she was diagnosed with cancer in 2017, and I was feeling like really low, like I wanted to get back to creating and like making things that I felt were gonna, you know, fuel me and like fill me up again, and so, I um, ended up doing DocU, but she got really sick, like in the midst of DocU. DocU started in May, and my mom got really sick in June, and then she passed away in July. And so during the time, like when she was sick, I was still going to classes, and then the deadlines were approaching like, yo, do you have B-roll? Do you have any footage? And I was like, footage? I don't even have time to like shoot anything. And so it started to become like apparent to me that like my story was gonna be about my mom and I didn't know she was gonna pass away, but it was kind of my experience with um, having my life change so quickly. And so that was a project I ended up doing. It's called Blink and how your life changes in a blink of eye. I just recently had my um, art residency with the Future Minneapolis, which is like a metaphysical shop in South Minneapolis, and that was on um, black healers and mysticism. And so kind of decolonizing religion and how do we look at the diasporic religion and what does that mean to truly connect with spirit in a mind, body, spirit kind of way. I was drawn to it because I'm right now in a season in my life where I'm doing a practice of resilience and so for me that's how do I sustain myself in creatively like making things is a huge way to fill myself back up when I feel like I'm low. It's, it's artwork, it's soul work, it's healing work, it's you know, it's all that and then it, we're trying to make some money with it too. Communication, narrative, rhetoric, <laughs> like how do you construct stories has always been at the heart of like my passions. And so getting to SPN, it just uh, it allowed me another medium to express that. I want to create narratives that show an alternate perspective and that also are healing for people. And so that when they come into these stories, that they gain something and that they can see themselves in this work. And so for me, it's like transformative and being able to really create something with your own hands and like see it come together and also not knowing if it's gonna be received, like that's kind of the fun of it. And then when you see people who love it and resonate and can connect with your work, it makes you wanna make more. The next thing I wanna do is do Girls That Grind. Like I have been sitting on this idea and I almost don't even wanna speak it cause I'm so big and like manifesting, I'm like, and I've been seeing a lot of people like, hustle, I'm on my grind. And I'm like, do they know like what my project's about to be? They know. I came from a single mother, so all I know is the hustle and the grind. She never got any accolades, but she worked two, three jobs and was home at seven o'clock and still made me dinner and still took me to school in the morning. So it's like stories like that where I'm like, that's the hustle, that's the undocumented work that women are doing and women identify as doing because we have to do so much more to get half of what other people are getting. And so however you're getting it, I want to talk about those stories. There's all of these things that I feel like life is so multiple, you know, and like narrative is so multiple. And so if it interests me and if I feel like it's cool and creative, then I'm gonna roll with it. And I feel like 
there is no cap on this genre yet and I don't want to even limit myself by being like, what am I going to do next because I want to do it all.